Hi everyone, so I'm just going to do a quick video on how I made this. Well, obviously I've done the video, I'm just showing you what I've made and then I'm just going to show you the quick process and how I made it. So this is just a little journal, it measures a lot, uh, just shy of seven and a half by four, just over four and a quarter, Rub rubbish ruler. <laughs> um, it has one signature, I don't know how many pages, but... Um, I just show the process of how I made it. Obviously, I haven't decorated it yet. And I will come back and show you um, what topper I'm going to use because I haven't got a clue at the moment. And I may show a few embellishments that I am going to make and pop in. So um, stay tuned and watch how I made this little journal. So I'm using some scrapbooking paper. Um, not particularly keen on this paper so i'm going to use it up by uh, making journal covers or making tags and painting them and collaging on them so but anyway so i've measured this uh i have got my measurements written down somewhere so it is 18 and a half centimeters tall by 22 wide and i've folded it in half uh, it's only a little journal that i'm making um then I had printed out these papers, they're, they're actually freebies from Marty Mays, but on the backs of them I've used uh, some papers from the Spring Blossom Kit, which is not a freebie. Uh, so that's how I measured roughly the size of my cover um, by the papers that I printed out. So here I'm just doing some folding and making some little pockets and just lining the paper up i'm doing all this by like off the cuff um you know eyeballing it all so then you'll see me do the other pages and i continue to do the folding of the papers until i've got them all done So now I've got them all folded the way I want them to, I'm just going to sort them all out here. I just had to, um, three of the pages, I decided that I wanted obviously smaller pieces as the folds. And then I'm just collating the papers together and popping them into, well, into the other papers. It is just one signature that I'm doing.
So as you can see here, I'm back to the cover and my little fingers were tapping away there so I must have been thinking about something. So I decided that I was going to put some coffee dyed paper on the inside. I'm just using my glue stick. I do actually stitch around the cover but I'm putting the glue stick down to put my coffee dyed paper. I'm just making, I always use a card and just make sure that that's all nice and flat and try to get rid of any bubbles that appear because sometimes it happens. And then I'm just trimming off the excess all around. I would normally let all that set to dry but obviously just for the video purpose I'm doing it straight away. Then on the other side, I have picked this fabric. Got lots of little scrappy pieces left that are kind of big enough for smaller journals. So I'm trying to use them up. So I'm putting the glue stick on there, as you can see. I am also going to use some wet glue in a minute. Um, some tacky glue uh, just around the edges and down the, the center fold, the spine area. Uh, so I'm just putting that all around and I'm going to smush it all in with my fingers so that it doesn't leave any line marks because sometimes that seeps through onto fabric and just deciding which part of it. I wanted that little bird. I'm probably end up going to cover the little birdie over but it kind of looked cute at the time. And here I was leaving a slight little border all the way around. Um which I then decided against but at this precise moment I'm leaving a tiny little border um, I was going to try and fray it and then I decided I'll just use my sharp knife my craft knife well it's actually like a DIY knife um, it's got a nice fresh blade in there so again still leaving the little border all the way around taking that off and like I said I was going to try and fray all that but it didn't work out so I've stitched it how quick was that and as you can see I was trying to fray it and it just didn't look nice not the kind of fraying that I wanted it wasn't the effect I was looking for so um you can see now I comes in with the scissors and I chop it all off So now I am going to just quickly ink up around the edges of the papers. And I'm using Vintage Photo and it's the Distress Oxide that I used. Then I'm getting my little sewing bits out, my stitching bits. So this is wax linen thread. Um, I bought that, I think it was way back last year. There was two of them in a pack on Amazon for like eight, nine pound. I don't think it's that price anymore, but it's literally lasted me so, so long considering the amount of journals that I make. So I've actually added some extra wax onto it. As you can see, I've got a little uh, beeswax block. Um, so I'm just lining it up and I'm eyeballing this as well. And if you're doing it like this way, like eyeballing it, make sure all your papers are where that you want them to be. Make sure they're the right way up before it says <laughs> sew them into your signature because many a times I've done that and it's upside down. So when you're sewing your signature in, make sure you um you know it's all nice and tight and you tie you know a good knot you don't want um a loose signature and also you kind of want your papers in your scent on your center fold to be totally lined up with your cover because you don't want a wobbly journal <laughs> 